Hey guys, welcome to TechNability. Happy Friday. Alright, so what we have is two of the latest and greatest on the iPhone and on the HC One. <clears throat> you got 4.3 Jelly Bean, you got iOS 7 Beta 4, and you got their respective keyboards. Now these two are their stock keyboards. You can see, obviously, no third party keyboards here. Completely bone stock. And I wanted to go through and just do a few tests here with both of them. The reason why is because with 4.3, Google has added uh, OpenGL GPU acceleration. And one of the areas in which I found it to be improved is the keyboard. I know they said that it's supposed to improve apps and multitasking and third party apps and whatnot, but really the keyboard on 4.3 is even more improved than what you get with 4.2. And 4.2 was good, but it still was you know a little behind on what you get with iOS. And maybe even for the most part Windows Phone. But uh, the keyboard now at 4.3 seems to be on par with iOS, and I can say that legitimately without even thinking twice. It's really good, and I'm going to show you guys what I mean right now. So first thing we're going to look at is the iPhone. Obviously, you have iOS 7 Beta 4, and you have uh, the white keyboard or whatever, the transparent keyboard here. Now, if I just go and type... Alright, so I wrote bear just here, and that's the bottom line because Stone Cold sets so. up. Okay, so let's just put that down. Go here to the HTC One with 4.3. So I got bear just here, and that's the bottom oiner because Stone Cold said so. Well, both of them had errors. You can see the iPhone says gold because Stone Gold said so. And on Android, you have oiner instead of a line. So, of course, you're going to have errors when you're just kind of typing away. But in any case, let's go ahead and delete. Okay, looks like the iPhone was a little bit faster, but really not much of a difference there. Um, so let's go ahead and try a little bit slower here for all you slower typers or one let's do one-handed typing let's do one-handed typing so I put hey how are you today let's go hang out alright let's see one-handed typing here on the HTC one Hey, how are you today? Jets to hang out. So the Jets are apparently going to hang out. So, you know, obviously, again, mistakes on both, minor mistakes on the um, iPhone, a little bit more prevalent on the one. But again, that's due to the screen size. Uh, you're dealing with a 4.7 inch display, so one handed typing is going to be a little bit harder. And of course, the keyboard's a little bit bigger. That makes a difference. But in just in general, I mean, just uh, using the keyboard and the feel and the touch, um, you know, let, let's just do a quick type here. All right, so let's see what I typed here. Hey, how are you today? Hey, how are you today? Let's go hang out. Hey, what's up? Let's go hang out in Hollywood and figure out what we're going to do because I really, because really I'm ready to go out and I don't think anyone wants to spend Friday night at home, okay? So you can see, pretty fast. All right, let's try that here. All right, so we put, hey, how are you today? Let's go hang out. Hey, what's up? Let's GL out tonight because ready at don't want to spend the night at home. Honestly, I don't think there's apt fun things to do. Okay, both had their mistakes. Honestly, the HC one had less, but um, 
I just wanted to go ahead and emphasize on the keyboards here, due to the fact that I think Android's responsiveness has reached that level, uh, the iOS level of responsiveness and speed and the autocorrect. I, I always, I always say this, but I think the autocorrect on Android is still above and beyond better than any other platform available. But with that said, both keyboards are still fantastic. Um, you're going to get a solid experience with either or stock out of the box. There are third-party options for Android. You don't get third-party options on iOS, which, you know, to this day, I'm a little bit shocked about that. It's like you want third-party keyboards without jailbreak and having going through that process, uh, but you can't get them through the Play Store or you can't get them through the App Store. Whereas with Android, there's so many third-party options. There's gesture based, there's slide swipe, all sorts of different types of types of keyboards. So options. Options are always a good thing. Uh, we're, we're very big fans of that and obviously now with the newest iteration of Jelly Bean 4.3 it looks like they've improved even more in this regard. Alright, that's all I wanted to cover. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Technability. Also check out our website www.technability.com. Thank you. Have a nice weekend.